everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swooshing and reviewing here the Gap Options newsletter tracking for 2019. This is for January and February only. Nice start to the year. Again, this is for advanced traders, 68,990, almost 70 grand. So, a really good start to the year. And most of the really profitable trades this year have been actually in the market. So it is about success. In order to be successful as a trader, I don't care what tra kind of trader you are, day trader, equity trader, swing trader, options trader, long-term investor, you need to have a system that you follow and you do not deviate from it. That means you follow that system. It directs you what you should be doing, uh, whether you should be going long, whether you should be shorting, whether you should be buying or selling, all of these things. It's very important. And so I'm very strict with my system. It's a system that I created myself, so I have a lot of conviction in it. So far this year in the options letter, there have been 15 winners and only three losers. That is a fantastic win ratio and a great start to the year, 80% win ratio for the year. So that's 68,990. And again, if you have a small risk and want to do a smaller risk, you'd still have the same results, meaning 80% win ratio. So whether you can risk less, whether you can risk more, it's still the idea that the trains were, are winning. Um, and that's really fantastic. So think about your goal. You've been considering moving into a career as a day trader, trading options and signing up for the options newsletter may be a good way for you to start. So let's talk about what is an option for the beginner people that don't know it. A stock option is a contract which conveys to its holder the right but not the obligation to buy or sell shares of the underlying security at a specified price or on and before a given date. This right is granted by the seller of the option. There are two types of options, calls and puts. So do you need margin to do options? No, you don't. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of people decide they want to start with options first, because you can buy, a, for example, an ETF like the, like the SPY that may cost something where you need a huge amount of margin. If the cost is over 270, for example, per share, you would need a lot of money to get 100 shares of it, whereas you can get 100 shares and buy one contract of an option only for whatever the cost may be and say the cost could be a dollar. So in that case, you'd only need, say if it was 270, you'd only need 270 bucks. So this is why when you're doing options, if you have a small account, it can help you grow your account to get up to a larger account than if you want to actively day trade and have a margin account, okay? And if you need to know more on that, you can always call me or if you have questions, okay? So this is an example here where if you had a small account, you might have got out of this trade with profit, but really it was a loser for most people. I called this trade here in this day, fell, it was a put. It failed to follow through. It was a small amount profitable, about 7%, but that wasn't really worth getting out of. But you might have if you had a small account. And if you have a small account, then you might exit trades quickly. Whereas if you have a larger account, you might hold them. But I think the best thing is to do is to go with the system, get out when you're up and plan accordingly. If you want to get out of every trade when you're up 100%, hold it, or 50%, or have a range, or get out of half, or every trade you want to hold to the target. But I must say that not every trade goes to the dream target, so something you need to be aware of. It's fully about managing your own expectations versus your own goals. And you can achieve lofty goals, but you have to have a plan of action to do it. So your expectations have to help you find a way to achieve your goals. Otherwise, you could be working against yourself, and you don't want to do that especially when I'm calling such great trades like I've been this year in 2019, and even the market I've called extremely well. So anyways, this was a nice bullish move up in Lulu. Boom. Called the calls on this. Again, to buy the calls. This trade worked. Profit. 122% return on investment. If you risked $5,400 in this trade in Lulu, what could you have made? $6,600. Again, 20 contracts, but you could have taken less. You could have bought two contracts for $540 and made $660 if you're a beginner. That's fine. But I want to show you how, what a good return on investment. And this had a bigger move. This was just in the original day move. Then there was Netflix. Beautiful bullish move here. Boom. In, out. Called the 352.50 strikes. This was a quick one. Some trades are fast. Some trades take longer. This was 100% return investment. Six grand with a six grand risk. QQQ is called another one here. Called a lot of trades in the market to buy the 162 calls. Again, beautiful, beautiful trade. 9,800 profit, 233% return investment, and one of the biggest trades so far this year based on the percentage of the move in the time that I called the trade. NVIDIA, here was the one here that really was a loser for most people, but again, if you got out quick, it was up slightly. Nothing really to brag about. Uh, return investment, zero. No profit, total loser if you held that. Did not have the follow through, that was the puts. Cat was another one here that was a loser called the put here, but I called it too late. It would have been profitable if I called it early. This was a better day trade. Again, in and out quickly, but it lost 0% return investment. Loss was the full lot. 
3250 and 50 contracts. IBM was another winner. And again, had the move up to buy the calls. 135 calls went through the strike. 57% return on investment. This one had a move. Not as big as I thought, but still profit. $3,600, $4,800 risk. Another nice move here into buy the calls in the queues. 163. This was 187% return investment. So many great trades in the market. 11,250 with a $6,000 risk. Starbucks made a brand new all-time high. Called this absolutely perfectly. And really nice move up in here. Called it here. It went straight up over the high. 66% return on investment. Profit 3,200 on a risk of 4,800. The SPY called a bunch of trades in the SPY. 272 calls. Another big mover up in here. This is early February. 250% return investment. Biggest one so far this year. There's a lot, a lot going on in the market. 15 grand if you risk six grand. And again, you could have risked $600 and made 1,500. So you could have taken three contracts. 250% return investment. A beautiful bullish move in the SPY. Called the 275 calls here. 101%, 111%, sorry, return investment. Risk 59.20, profit 65.80, 20 contracts. And again, called the 280 spy calls. 125% return on investment. If you risk five grand, you could have made 6,250. And NTAP, this one, interestingly enough, did not work. Had high hopes for this, but didn't work, and the price was great. Risk five grand, loss. Loss in total did not work, did not follow through, really was a bust. Zero on that one. That was one of the losers. Cisco was a nice winner and actually could have held it a little bit longer. 146% return on investment in Cisco. If you had risked 4560, you would have made 6640. And Walmart, quick move up. And this one actually you could still be in, but I, I wouldn't be, but you could. Had the big move in the first day, 60% return on investment, risk of 5,000, paid three grand. HD was a winner for the 185 uh, puts. Uh, then the 182.50s were down and now could be getting into the works today because I called this out for 3.8. But if you did the 185s, it would have been out of this. 40% return investment. You risk 55.50, profit 22.50. So here, all in all, Lulu, Netflix, Q's, NVIDIA loser, Cat was a loser, IBM winner, Q's winner, Starbucks winner, Spy winner, Spy winner, Spy winner, NTAP loser, Cisco winner, Walmart winner, HD winner. 15 winners and three losers so far this year in 2019, tracking for the options for the gap options letter. Win ratio 80%. So a very good letter and so, so well worth the price. In fact, this is just, I probably have this price well too low for the benefits of this letter. The benefits of trading options versus equity trades is what? No margin requirements, no day trading margin requirements. Only cost is the price you pay for the trade. You can make active money trading just like equity trades and you can make a good return on investment, which is very important. So options are a way to make money if you cannot be in the live trading room daily, which many people can. They're trying to transition. So you can take these trades, watch them, and get out when you're up. Watch the targets, watch the moves, watch the market, and set your own target goals for your profit and your risk. If you would like information from me or an assessment of what I, you know, my suggestions are with the size of your account, you can certainly reach out to me. But I suggest everyone make their own trading plan. And again, it has to do with how much money you have and the time you have to, to watch the trains. Um, and if you want to be conservative, if you want to take a little bit more risk, it has to do with what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So, but again, taking the trades is very important. 15 winners and three losers is a fabulous win ratio. And the nice thing about this Gap Options newsletter is you sign up and you get all the trades for one year for $49.99. No prerequisites. You email Melissa at thestockswish.com to register. Sign up for the Gap Options annual newsletter and you will not have to do the Golden Gap course before this as a prerequisite. Whereas if you want to enter the trading room and join the trading room, there is a prerequisite. It's a Golden Gap course. Although I think it's a benefit to learn the course first, you can still manage these trades and take the trades on your own by yourself uh, without having done the course. And you get the trades emailed to you directly, just like you saw here in this video. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.